Today, I want to address five misconceptions about forgiveness. Let me start by saying we live in an imperfect world. We will offend people and people will offend us. But the Bible commands us to forgive. Colossians 3.13 says, make allowance for each other's fault and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, you must forgive others. By definition, to forgive is to release someone from the burden of their wrong. Now, let's look at what forgiveness is not. Misconception number one. Forgiveness is not excusing a wrong. Forgiveness is not pretending that the situation never happened or what the person did is okay. Instead, you are simply releasing yourself from carrying the burden of bitterness. A recent study found that people with a propensity to forgive others, they tend to have a lower blood pressure than those who refuse to forgive. Misconception number two, forgiveness is not a weakness. Forgiveness is actually self-empowerment because it takes strength to forgive. Let me tell you what weakness is. Ready? Tit for tat. Getting even with people and staying hungry, my friend. It takes courage, strength, obedience, humility, and maturity to release someone from the burden of their wrong. In Romans 12, 18 and 19, we are encouraged to live at peace with everyone and let God take revenge. Misconception number three, forgiveness is not a feeling. Sometimes I hear people say, I can't forgive because I'm not feeling it. If you are waiting for your feelings, forgiveness may never happen. Listen, the flesh never wants to do what is right, only what is comfortable. Forgiveness is an act of grace that you give to someone. Misconception number four, forgiveness does not mean everything has to go back exactly the way it used to be right away. Reconciliation is a process. For example, you can forgive an abuser, pray for the person, and still love them from afar. Misconception number five. Forgiveness is not dependent on an apology from the person who hurt you. Do you know why? Because the person who hurt you might be too arrogant to render an apology or might not see anything wrong in what they did. So forgive to preserve your well-being and to obey God's word. My friend, if you are still struggling with unforgiveness, I pray that today's message will help you start the emotional healing that will bring you to a new dimension of freedom in Jesus' name.